Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have a power series summation n z raised to n. So they are given it has radius of convergence r and with the help of this information, we have to find radius of convergence of all these three remaining series. Okay. So let us start with the given information. So let me mention we have we have r is a radius of convergence of this power series summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z s to n. So then by definition of radius of convergence, so there is one formula for radius of convergence. So with the help of that I can write. So therefore 1 by r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod a n plus 1 upon n getting so this is a formula we have and this is so much important thing so let me call it as equation number one okay let us go further now let us discuss all these three series one by one so the first series we have we have the series is summation n running from 0 to infinity n cube a n z is to n so actually the standard form of power series is this one n z is to n so here the coefficient is n cube n. So let me call it as bn. So here, here bn is equal to n cube n. So therefore bn plus 1, that means simply at a place of n, we have to write n plus 1. It will be n plus 1 cube a n plus 1. So let us find its radius of convergence. Okay, so let me write. So by our formula, we can write. So therefore 1 upon radius of convergence so that formula says limit n tends to infinity mod b n plus 1 upon b n so now what will i do i will put the values there right so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity what is value of b n plus 1 it is this one so n plus 1 cube n plus 1 the value of b n is this one n cube n so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity see there is no need to apply more to that n plus 1 cube and n cube since n uh, these are natural numbers right so obviously those are positive so we can simply write n plus 1 cube upon n cube mod a n plus 1 upon n right so here we can write common bracket cube so limit n tends to infinity we can write bracket cube and inside the bracket we will have n plus 1 upon n so we can divide separately also so 1 plus 1 by n by dividing separately mod a n plus 1 upon n so if i apply the limit 1 plus 1 by n its value will be 0 as n tends to infinity 1 plus 0 cube and value of this mod if you apply the limit its value is 1 by r from equation number 1 so that means finally we can say its value is 1 by r by solving it. So therefore the radius of convergence 1 upon radius of convergence is 1 by r. If I take reciprocal of both sides radius of convergence radius of convergence is equal to r by taking reciprocal of both sides. That means the radius of convergence of this power series is also r. Okay. Let us go further. Let us discuss the second power series now. Just make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So we are considering a second power series now. Okay. So in second power series, it is looking little bit odd because of that Z raised to 3N. Generally, we have Z raised to N. So I'm going to use one technique. What I'm going to do? So by putting, I'm going to put z cube is equal to w so z raised to 3n will be w raised to n we get by putting this one we get what we get summation and running from 0 to infinity a n w raised to n so now it is looking better getting so let us go further so we have a formula to find radius of convergence that formula i'm going to use so formula is 1 upon radius of convergence is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod what is the coefficient we have n so first we write a n plus 1 and after that we write 
n okay see it has only n so i should write in that way but the value of that limit is 1 by r already we have got in equation number 1 so i should mention 1 by r so 1 upon radius of convergence of this power series is equal to 1 by r by taking reciprocals of both sides we will get radius of convergence is equal to r getting radius of convergence that means for mod w less than r the series corresponding series is convergent and if mod w greater than r the corresponding series is divergent so by definition of radius of convergence we can write therefore the series the series summation n running from 0 to infinity a n w raised to n is convergent for mod w less than r right that is mod w means what mod w w means z cube no so i should write z cube less than r that is let me write here so we have some more space that is mod z cube less than r we can take separate separate mod let us take a cube root of both sides that is mod z less than r raised to 1 by 3 by taking cube root of both sides getting so basically we had z right we had z and simply we replaced by w so that that's why i got the radius of convergence r but if you consider z okay then its radius of convergence will be r raised to 1 by 3 so therefore radius of convergence of summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z raised to 3 n is r raised to 1 by 3 okay so in this way we found out the radius of convergence of second power series make a screenshot of it then we will go further so in third power series we have summation a n cube z raised to n so here the coefficient is n cube so let us denote it by c n so here c n is a n cube so obviously c n plus 1 will be a n plus 1 cube right so we have the formula of radius of convergence let us use so therefore 1 upon radius of convergence is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 upon c n now what will i do i will put their values there okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity a n plus 1 cube upon n cube right so we can take separate separate mod that means cube will we can take cube outside so a n plus 1 upon n cube so actually the value of this limit okay value of this limit is 1 by r but we have we are having cube there so this is equal to 1 by r cube so radius of 1 upon radius of convergence is 1 by r cube by taking reciprocals of both sides we will have radius of convergence is r cube so therefore the radius of convergence is this power series is r cube okay so example is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you